Fantastic. Many years at one school. And he was a celebrated athlete way, way back. Ganey and the Bears control the opening tap, and we are underway. Brown heading basket to our right in their white uniforms, brown numerals, brown and red trim, Sacred Heart in the road red uniform to the white numerals and the white and silver trim. Ganey gets it to Friday, dribbles down the right side of the lane, puts it off the window, and scores. Nice dish off by Jalen Ganey. Friday takes it into the lane and lays it in. It is 2-0 Bears here, opening minute to play. Brown opening up in the band-to-band -band defense. Up top, here's Thomas, guarded by Mitchell. On the left, Gallet. Now he gets it into the hands of Clark. Clark double team, gives it back up. And they kick it weak side to Thomas for three, and Tyler Thomas on target as he knocks it down to put the Pioneers up one early on. So Thomas shoots it at 29% from three. Here's Friday with a basketball for the Bears. Whips it up top to Tomanong Cho. Left side, Wojcik thought about the three. One dribble to his left, takes the three, and makes it. Now he should get, uh, or T should get an assist for that, but he's not going to. Nice move, one dribble, created a lot of space by Pax and Wojcik. Five to three, Brown on top here in the early going. Just over a minute into this one. Here's a three left side for Thomas, and he's two for two from beyond the arc to start the game. You surprised Sacred Heart opening up in the man-to-man -man defense. Cho's going to get called for an offensive foul there as he ran over Aaron Clark. And that'll be the first on T, the first on either team. I bring that up, Russ, because two years ago, the Sacred Heart zone bothered Brown yeah. uh, on the way to the Pioneers, picking up a, a relatively easy win in that game. And uh, Brown's seen uh, zone defense the last couple games, which have given him a little bit of trouble this year, too, as well, Scott. You're right. 6-5, Sacred Heart on top by one with a basketball on the left side. Here's Thomas guarded closely by David Mitchell. Takes it to the baseline, now picks up the dribble. Can they kick it out top? And here is Gallette. Back to Thomas, fakes the three, dribbles in the paint. Kicks it right side. Clark dribbles in the paint, puts it up with the right hand, no good. And that never caught any iron, so it will be a shot clock violation. Bryce Johnson did come down with a rebound for the Pioneers, but ball didn't catch any of the rim. So the Bears with 30 seconds of good defense there forced the Sacred Heart turnover. Friday gets it to T. Cho, Tomanon bounces it to Ganey at the free throw line. Back to Cho, who dribbles left side, foul line extended, trying to back his way down into the paint. Tried to kick it weak side to Mitchell. Through. Thomas gets the ball for his second free throw, one bounce, lets it fly. Swish. You know, you see a lot of guys with long pre Foul shot routines. Yeah. When you're that good of a shooter, you don't need one. Let it rip. Just one bounce and let it go. Well, he's let it go four times today. Two foul shots and two threes. He has all eight, eight points. All eight of their points. Eight five. Sacred Heart by three with the basketball. Here's Clark. Takes it in. Kicks it weak side corner to Watson. His three was blocked by Cho, but the ball comes down to the Pioneers. And there's a steal by David Mitchell. And he loses it out of bounds. He tried to dribble through traffic behind the back, and he lost the handle. And the Bears turn it over. Turnovers were a little bit of a problem the other night at Lowell, but the Bears settled down on the second half of that game, did a much better job taking care of the basketball. They did, and uh, Lowell's press bothered Brown near the end of that game True. as well. So the Pioneers with the ball again here. Here's Alex Watson with it. Right hand dribble to the free throw line down the right side of the lane. Puts the shot up. Missed it. Offensive rebound. Johnson kicks it back out to Thomas. Up top they go to Clark. He dribbles down the right side. Fires it in the left corner to Nico Gallet. Gallet back on the left to Thomas for three. Oh, my goodness. Is he feeling it early on today or what? All 11 Sacred Heart points scored by Tyler Thomas, and they lead Brown by six, 11-5. His career high was 36 against Merrimack last year. Another and turnover. Friday loses the ball out of bounds. Bears turned it over for the third time. And Mike Martin quickly going to his bench. He'll bring in a pair of first-year guards, Keno Lilly, the freshman from Glendale, Maryland, and Kimo Ferrari, the sophomore from San Diego, California. So Ferrari's going to play Aaron Clark, who brings the ball up the floor for the Pioneers. 
Freshman forward Nana Ousu Anane also checks into the Brown lineup as well. So three new bodies on the floor. Mitchell and Wojcik remain on the court from the starting five. Here's Thomas with it. Gives the ball up. Now Thomas gets it back, dribbles off the ball screen. He just like he walked with it before he dished it on the right side to Gillette. Now Thomas going to take a contested three. It's no good, and the rebound to Ferrari. Mitchell did a good job of contesting that three-pointer. Wojcik dribbles down the left side of the lane, picks up his dribble, goes up with the left hand, and scores off the window. Pretty pivot move. Is that Kevin McHale, or was that Paxson Wojcik yeah, in there? Pretty good. Very nice. Wojcik with five of the Bears, seven. And Brown pulls to within four, 11-7. Thomas cutting back door, loses the handle, picked up by Lilly off the turnover. Lilly brings it back the other way, dribbles to the right wing, gets it to Mitchell up top. David fires it left to Wojcik. Wojcik dribbles in the paint, pulls up from 14 and hits it. Paxson Wojcik feeling it early on for Brown, just as Tyler Thomas is for Sacred Heart. Yeah, he's three for three. One of them the three ball. Seven points for Wojcik. Little jumper in the lane by Watson doesn't go. Wojcik with a rebound and the outlet to Lilly. Lilly. Tried to dish. Bears down by two. Ferrari guarding Clark, who gives up the ball. Wide open is Gillette, right side three. Doesn't go, and Owusu Anani can't control the rebound. It goes out of bounds, but they're going to say Sacred Heart touched it last. They'll give okay. it to Brown. Scott joined at the media table here by Brown's president, Chris Paxson, and her husband, Ari Gabinet. Big basketball fans. Good to see them. Yes, they are. Kino Lilly with the basketball for the Bears. Step back, thought about the three, instead gives it up to Ferrari. Now Wojcik down to Owusu Anane. Nana left-hand dribble, picks it up, bounces it to Ferrari in the paint. He tried to get in the corner and does to Lilly for an open three. No good, and on the rebound, we're going to get a foul on the floor. We had a push on Sacred Heart. This one's going to be called on Cantavio Dutrio. That is Detrell's first. That is the first on Sacred Heart. Bears throw it in from underneath. They get it up top to Owusu Anani. Now Cho. T dribbles left, hands it to Wojcik. Paxson fires it to Ferrari. He takes it baseline, pulls up from eight. Too strong. Weak side rebound pulled down by Gallette. Thomas guarded closely by Cho. Left hand dribble in the paint. Now bounces it down low, and Dutrell going up in traffic. Missed the shot, rebounded by T. Cho. Cho back the other way, finds Ferrari, who hands it to Lilly on the right wing. Now back to Cho. Cho gets it to Ferrari. Back to T, outside the low block. He's double teamed, so he backs it up with one dribble, gets it to Ferrari, left side Wojcik. Wojcik dribble penetration, scoop to the hoop, good. Backs it. Get it all done offensively. Nine points for Paxson Wojcik to start this basketball game. He's a perfect four for four from the field to start. And Scott, the other night at UMass Lowell, he had four assists. Two of them in succession with David Mitchell was moving without the basketball. Paxson did a nice job of passing the ball the other night. Wojcik, the transfer from Loyola, Chicago. And his first year with the Bears. Finds himself in a starting role. He's replaced in the lineup here by Noah Marin as the Bears have the ball, and we're all even at 11. Here's Marin on the right side with it, looking for Cho. Instead gets it up top to Lilly. They swing it left, Ferrari. Now Owusu Anani at the left elbow, dribbles it, loses the handle, stolen away by Dutrell. Back the other way, Thomas dribbles down the lane, puts up the runner, too strong. Rebound to Owusu Anani. He gets it to Cho. Up ahead to Lilly. Pull up. Lilly takes it underneath the basket to Marin, up top Ferrari, now to Cho. Cho dribbles inside the key, finds Ferrari on the left wing. Ferrari dribbles in the paint, kicks it in the corner to Noah Marin. He'll try the three from the right side. It's short. Marin follows his own miss. It falls into the hands of Ferrari. Bounce it to Nana. In the paint, little right-handed shot is good. He's got that move down pat. Takes one dribble, moves left to right into the, into the lane, and a jump hook. And it's a little quick release, yeah. right? It catches the defender off guard where they don't have time to react to it and potentially block it. 13-11, Bears by two. 
Ever since Tyler Thomas got off to that hot start, the start, the Bears have really cranked it up defensively, haven't they, Russ? Yeah. Well, they're paying a little bit more, bit more attention to uh, Thomas at this point. Ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Detrell. It'll be Brown basketball. And Scott, I mentioned to you the other night, I mean, when we're talking about Tyler Thomas. I get a little confused because my brother-in-law partner is Thomas Tyler. <laughs> so if I, if I stumble a little bit, that's probably ordinary. That would be why, but this kid's a player. I'll tell you, I like him. Tyler Thomas, Thomas Tyler. Yep. Speaking of players, here's Lily with the basketball. It gets the handoff back from Ferrari and dribbles it right. The freshman fires it up top to Cho. Cho finds Ferrari on the left side. Bounce it to Nana. He goes right by his man Bob, for the boom. slam. Boom! He spiked that one. Nana sealed off the defender. He has four, and the Bears lead by that margin. Fifth have played. The offense has been a little inconsistent, but yeah. the Bears off to a nice start here today. Seven of ten shooting from the field at 70%. Good, good to see. The only possible uh, weak link in that chain was the North Carolina game down at Chapel Hill where the Tar Heels managed to score some points. Other than that, the Brown defense has been superb. A little fadeaway jumper in the lane does not go for Tyler Thomas. The loose ball rebound goes out of bounds. Last touch by the Pioneers. Cantavio Detrell knocked it out. Good effort, though, by Detrell to try to keep it alive. Bears will get it back. And Friday, the sophomore will bounce it up the floor for Brown. Friday did not play at UMass Lowell, dealing with minor back issue, but he's back in the lineup for the Bears today. Here's Ferrari on the left wing. Bouncing down low to Cho. Cho trying to back his way into the paint, gets it out to Ferrari, now to Friday. Friday takes it to the baseline, but he lost the handle out of bounds and turned it over. That's Dan's second turnover of the game. For the Bears, it is their seventh turnover of the first half. And that's been a concern as well last couple of games for the turnovers. After having five against the Tar Heels down in Chapel Hill, the, the Bears have uh, struggled a little, little bit taking care of the basketball. 15-11, the Bears by four, Sacred Heart with the basketball. Here's Bryce Johnson, gets it to Aaron Clark. Clark guarded by Cho away from the basket. Now fires it right. Thomas gives the ball up. Bears really playing harassing defense. Thomas had to fire the three at the shot clock. Buzz with the long one. Grazes the rim. Back the other way comes the Brown Bears. Here's Cho. Guarded by Clark. Hits it up to Ferrari now to Friday. On the baseline, Marin takes it underneath. Kicks it to Cho. T will take the right corner three. A little bit too strong, and the rebound to Dutrell. Thomas fires it down low, has an open Bryce Johnson who puts it up on the reverse side of the rim for two. Bryce Johnson, the first pioneer, not named Tyler Thomas to score a basket in this one. They hadn't scored in almost seven minutes. 15 to 13, Brown's lead is two. Friday takes it into the paint, puts it up with the right hand, no good, and the rebound comes down to Dutrell. Here's Aaron Clark, dribbles up top. That is pass deflected. Ooh, Friday goes to the floor for it. Comes up with a steal. Gets it to T. Cho. Cho to Ferrari. Alley-oop to T. And oh, what a great play. Puts it over the rim and in for two. Tremendous athleticism and agility displayed by T. Cho off a pretty feed from Ferrari. 17-13, Bears back up by four. A little oh. dipsy do move by Tyler Thomas. Thank you very much. Take he has 13. The, yeah, take it to the basket that time. Moving left to right, spinning it off the glass. What a terrific move by Thomas. 17-15, our score. The Bears lead is two. Here's Friday. Down low on the baseline to Cho. Cross court to Ferrari. Gets it to Dan Friday. He'll take the three from the right wing. It's good. If Friday can add that shot consistently to his repertoire, he's going to be very dangerous. Yes, that's very true, Scott. Only 16% from three coming in, but he shoots it with confidence, and that's an assist to Ferrari. Here's a left corner oh, three boy. on the way. It's no good by Six Smith, and here come the Bears in transition. Friday dribbles in the paint, puts it up with the left hand, and scores. He, he can do that. Upper from Detroit. Bears coming out of the timeout with a little 1-2-2 full court pressure. 
Sacred Heart able to break it. Here's Clark at midcourt to Alex Watson. Now Clark gets it again. Clark coming off a 19-point performance in the win over Lafayette on Thursday. So Thomas is out of the action right now. Clark's going to fire the three. It's good. And there you see what Aaron Clark is capable of. He shoots it at 43% from beyond the arc. So he's someone you have to identify from outside that three-point arc. Wojcik misses the jumper and the rebound pulled down by Watson. Oh, Clark feeling it. Fires another one. That one doesn't go. Wojcik clears the glass for Brown. Up ahead to Friday. Friday takes it in the paint, spins, and is going to get called for traveling. Dan didn't think he traveled. I think he thought that Joey Riley stripped him of the basketball, and he regained control. Four-point Bears lead here with 7.23 to go in the opening half. Clark dribbles off the Johnson ball screen down the right side of the lane, puts it up off the window and hits it. It's a yeah. tough shot. A, a, a fade away, almost a hook shot. Just kiss it off the glass. He has five. Bears lead down to two. Jalen Ganey has it top of the key. Gets it to Lilly. Lilly to Wojcik on the left. They find Ganey in the mid post area. One dribble, turnaround jumper is good for Jalen Ganey. He made that look. Real easy as he shot it over Bryce Johnson, who's only 6'6", Jalen almost 6'9". Ganey only had two points in the win over UMass Lowell last week, but he had six rebounds and three blocked shots against the Riverhawks. Oh, nice move by Clark as he takes it to the hoop and scores with the left hand. I think that's seven straight points by Clark. It is. 24-22 Brown. Mitchell goes to the hole and gets fouled. He'll go to the free throw line to shoot two as Bryce Johnson picks up the personal. Been a relatively cleanly played first half. That's only the second team foul on Sacred Heart. The Bears have committed only three yeah. team fouls. A lot of fouls the other night at UMass Lowell. There's Mitchell going up and getting hit on the arms. You, know, you and I talked the other night on the radio at Lowell. David Mitchell, the tenacity with which he plays defensively. And then you add on top of that a guy like Kimo Ferrari coming off the bench. It's really something to watch. Yeah, and you got Jalen Ganey back <laughs> as a rim protector. Yeah. And T. Cho is a heck of a defensive player. The Bears, well, the coaches have said it all along, that the defense for this year's team is going to be their strong point. Mm -hmm. It's a question of getting the offense in, in gear, and that seems to be progressing. Mitchell, by the way, had a career high against UMass Lowell, 14 points, and he gets his first two points this afternoon from the free throw line. 26-22, Brown by two. Good job there. Mitchell deflected that pass, and when Clark caught it, he couldn't handle it. Went out of bounds. So the Bears get it via the Pioneer turnover. Fourth Sacred Heart turnover of the half. Here's Aaron Cooley, the freshman. Gets it to Wojcik, now to Ganey. Up top to Lilly. Lilly steps back, now dribbles inside the key. Picks up his dribble and gets it to Mitchell. David will try the right side three. I'll tell you what, it's amazing. he's gotten better in that department, hasn't he? Hasn't he ever. He's worked really hard at all parts of his game. He shot 40% from three coming into this one. There's Joey Riley down the lane. Here's an open three for Watson from the right corner, and he knocks it down. And turns to talk to the Brown bench. Yes, he did. They were probably chirping at him before, I'm, I'm guessing. Watson shoots it at 41% from beyond the arc. 29-25, Bears by four. Five and a half to go here in the first half. Lilly. To Cooley, now to Wojcik. Back oh, up top, it goes open. to Lilly. Open three is good. You cannot leave no. number 10 that open. Yeah, he had seven or eight feet, feet between him and the nearest defender, David Mitchell, with a pretty bounce pass to find the shooter, and the shooter delivered. Lilly had a game a week ago as he nearly pokes the ball loose and comes up with a turnover, but Clark regains control. At Quinnipiac, he scored 24 points in the final 15 minutes of the game, Russ. Yeah, it's quite a show. It was enjoyable to watch. Here's Gillette, takes it down low, and Ganey blocks the shot. Sacred Heart able to get it back. Clark shut off baseline by Lilly, get it in the corner to Watson. His shot at the shot clock buzzer doesn't go, but the rebound and put back for Johnson. He gets fouled and will go to the line for two shots. Foul will be called on Aaron Cooley, his first, Brown's fourth of the half. And Bryce Johnson, a 44% free throw shooter coming in, will go to the free throw line 
4-2. Johnson, the sophomore from Stockton, California. First one on the way is good. Scott, we're also joined at the media table by Grace Calhoun, the Brown Athletic Director. Grace Calhoun, President Paxson in attendance here today, watching the Bears compete as Ferrari replaces Mitchell in the Brown lineup. One more free throw coming up here for Bryce Johnson. And that one's no good in the rebound to Ticho. Six-point Brown lead, 32-26. It's only T's second rebound. Here's Lilly. Cross-court pass to Cho on the right. Back up top to Lilly it goes. He steps back. We'll take Ooh, a three. Oh. In and out. And the rebound to Bryce Johnson. We had an angle on that. Looked good, didn't it, from our it, angle? It certainly yeah. did. Here's Clark. Kicks it in the corner. Wide open three for Riley around the rim and out. And the rebound pulled down by Sacred Art. Riley's going to try it again, and he's going to make that one. Well, he shoots 52% coming into this game, 12 for 23. And he turned to the Brown bench and had a few words to say as well. Yeah, I think the Brown bench is doing some chirping also. <laughs> Here's Ferrari on the left. Up top to Awusu Anani. He dribbles to the left wing himself and now gets it to Lilly up top. Lilly splits two defenders. Get For, uh, Sports Information Director Chris Hum, who's been at every game. Of course, his wife Debbie's with him too. That's right. And they go with their grandson to a lot of games. Here's Wojcik with the basketball for Brown. Gets it to Cho. Left oh, side, Lilly boy. open for three. And that one's short. And Cho mistimed his jump. So Aaron Clark came down with a rebound for the Pioneers. Clark gets it back from Watson up top. Guarded by Cho. Wants to take it by him. Cho poked the ball loose. It goes out of bounds. Last tuck by Wojcik. It'll be Sacred Heart ball. And Mike Martin saying, hey, hey, he thought that went out off of Sacred Heart. Got Joey Riley putting the ball in play, number 12, played at East Catholic High School, which is in Manchester, right near Hartford, twice state champions. It's their all time leading scorer. That's your neck of the woods, Russ Tyler. I saw him play a bunch of times in high school, a bunch. He can really fill it up, he can shoot it. Bears got to keep an eye on him. Here's Cho up top to Lilly. Open three straight away is good, and that one. He dialed up from long distance. That's a four-pointer. T. Cho with that assist. Six for Lilly. Six-point Brown lead, 35-29. We're under three to go here in the first half. Gallette with it. Gives the ball up on the right side. Now gets it back. And will take the three. No good. Rebound to Ferrari. Bears also out-rebounding. Their opponent 15-11 here early on. Owusu-Anani puts it up with the left hand, scores, and gets fouled. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. It's excellent footwork by the freshman. Very under control. Very poised. Here he is. Spin back underneath and lay it in with the left hand. Use his body effectively. That is Nico Galette's first foul. That is the four-team foul on the Pioneers, and Nana owusu -Anani with a chance at the old-fashioned three-point play. owusu -Anani with six here in the first half. He is a 75% free throw shooter on the season, misses his first free throw attempt today. 37-29, eight-point Brown lead. Pioneers with the basketball. Watson takes it to the hoop and scores on the left side of the rim. And a strong move with the left hand by Alex Watson, a grad student from Marietta, Georgia. Cuts the Brown lead to six. Wojcik gets it to Owusu Anani. Nice bounce pass down low to Mitchell. One bounce for David. Goes up. Had his shot partially blocked. And the Pioneers come up with it back the other way. Three-pointer. Clark left wing. No good. And a push on the offensive rebound. And a foul on Cantavio Detrell, his second. Kimo Ferrari went to the ground. Still not shooting. Ferrari replaced in the lineup by Lilly. I checked that Friday. So it's Friday, Wojcik, Mitchell, Lilly, and Awusu Anani on the floor for the Brown Bears. They have a six-point lead, 37-31 over Sacred Heart. Friday kicks it in the corner. Lilly another three. That one doesn't go, and the rebound pulled down by Dutrell. 
Sacred Heart staying in the zone. Thomas takes it in on Friday. Friday bothers the shot, and Wusu Anani with a rebound. Good defense there by Dan Friday. Forced Thomas into taking a left-hand shot off of the glass. Even for a guy as talented as Thomas, it's a tough shot. Good ball movement by the Bears, and Wojcik finds an open three in the left corner. Won't drop down, and Dutrell with another rebound for Sacred Heart. Here's Clark with it for the Pioneers. Now he's going to back it out and pass across court to Alex Watson. Watson picks up his dribble, gets it back out to Clark. Ten on the shot clock. Clark dribbles down the right side of the lane and gets fouled by David Mitchell. He'll go to the free throw line for two. Mitchell picks up a second foul, fifth team foul on Brown in the first half. Clark, 82% free throw shooter. First trip to the line today. Couple of nice wins by Brendan Wittitz Brown men's ice hockey team this week, and they knocked off 17th ranked Harvard 2 0 on Friday night. They followed that up with a win last night at Mean Auditorium over the Dartmouth Big Green. How exciting is that for Brown hockey, Scott? That, that's tremendous. And great to see because that team has been battling all sorts of injury and illness. They yep. played the previous four games before that Harvard game dressing less than the maximum amount of skaters you're allowed to dress for a game 19 because of all the injuries and illness they had. So they got some of those injured and sick players back this weekend, and you see the results. Played with a lot of heart, Scott, huh? They did. Two free throws for Aaron Clark. Makes it a four-point game, 37-33 Brown. Wojcik, open three from the right, is good. Employ that 1-2-2 two, two full court pressure, which the Pioneers break. Although the Bears set a trap just over midcourt and it forces in front of the Brown bench. It'll be Alex Watson tossing it in to Aaron Clark. Clark passes it to no one on the right wing. He thought that Watson would still be there, but he wasn't. It's a turnover on the Pioneers. Well, that pass went right to Paxson Wojcik on the Brown bench, so Paxson just ran. He's checked in right now. <laughs> I don't know if Mike sent him in or he just said, I got to get in the game. <laughs> So with 34 seconds to go, there's about a seven-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. The Bears are going to take some air out of the ball here and try to get a shot as the shot clock winds down. Cho will just take some air out of it near midcourt. And, and, Scott, he's one heck of a, a ball handler, T. Cho, as well. He is. He plays that point-forward role so well for the Bears. Cho picks up his dribble. Now fires into the corner to Ferrari for three. It's good with two seconds left on the shot clock. T. Cho, that's his third assist of the first half as Clark throws it up and it looked good. He gets it into the backcourt to Clark and we're underway. Clark takes it right to the hoop. Missed the shot, rebounded by Cho. Cho. Up ahead to Wojcik, who gets it to Dan Friday, takes it right in. Oh. alley oh. and jam for Jalen Ganey. That was so smooth, it's almost like they diagrammed on a board at halftime. It made it look easy, but Sacred Heart was shorthanded. Uh, Clark was underneath the basket, he went down, and the uh, Bears took advantage of it, five on four. You think they've done that maybe a few hundred times in practice? It's every day, <laughs> they, they love doing it. What's more fun than that? And Jalen can finish. Four points for Ganey. 12-point Brown lead, their largest of the game. Here's Watson. Now they swing it left to Clark. Clark dribbles, takes it to the hoop, and scores. Nice move there by Aaron Clark. He's in double figures with the 11. He averages 16 a game. He's no slouch scoring the basketball either. Not at all. Sort Friday on the left side looking for Ganey down low. Finds him. Ganey, turnaround jumper is good. Wow. That's a tough move from the left baseline. Spin back over your left shoulder and hit a right-hand jump hook. There's Thomas on the left side, Offense. and he gets called for the charge. David Mitchell draws it. First foul on Tyler Thomas. Now, I know David Mitchell knew how to do that before Kimo Ferrari got here. True. <laughs> but now they have two guys that draw offensive fouls. Cho, they all do. Paxson is a, is, a, is a wizard at it. You see David Mitchell, for those of you that are NBA fans, and we've said this before, he, he's the Marcus Smart of the Brown Bears. Two-time captain also like T. Cho. Great defender. Just dives, hustles for loose balls, alley-oop down again. He catches it and gently lays it in over the rim. How about a nice feed from Tom Cho, his third assist. 
How about Ganey off to a nice six. start in the second half? Six yep. of his eight points have come in the first minute and a half of the second half. And the Bears have opened up a 14-point advantage. Watson looking for somewhere to go with it, now puts it on the deck. Double team, so he tried to give it up. Pat poked loose by Wojcik, but he gets it back. Right side to Gallette. Gallette with five on the shot clock, four, three. Gives it up top to Clark, long three, straight away, and Clark hits it with the shot clock winding down. That's a big shot there for the senior guard from Parsippany, New Jersey. Clark now two for five from three. He went four for five from three against Lafayette just a couple nights ago. 14 points for Clark. Cho takes it to the hoop, gets fouled, and Tomadong will go to the line for a pair. The foul will be called on Nico Gallette. His first, second on the Pioneers. Tomadong Cho. Well, he made a living at the line the other night at Lowell, didn't he? How about that? And he's come quite a ways from his freshman to sophomore year. He struggled mightily at the line. He surpassed 1,000 career points in that 26-point effort at Lowell and before this game here today was honored on the court for that great career accomplishment. There's Cho hits his first of two free throws. T gets the ball for a second one, bounces it, bends the knees, lets it fly. Two for two from the stripe for Tamadong Cho. Four points for Cho, 51-38, Brown by 13. Here's Clark, you gotta pick him up at midcourt. Now Watson, right side, Thomas. Thomas guarded closely by Mitchell, spins to his right, puts it up and wow. in. Tough move there by Tyler Thomas. Yeah, Mitchell was all over him like a glove and Thomas scored anyway. Yeah, I'm not sure you can play better defense than David Mitchell no. did. That just shows you how good Tyler Thomas is. Offense better than the defense, which was very, very good. Thomas can really score in all kinds of different ways. Joe takes it to the hoop again and gets fouled as Gallette's going to pick up his second personal. T. Cho right back to the free throw. Look at this move by T. Spins to his left. A lot of arm. Well, Tamanong right back to the stripe where he just hit two a moment ago. The first one on the way for T. That one's off the front of the rim and no good. Cho now with 1,024 points for his career here at Brown. And the second free throw is good. 52 to 40, Bears by 12. Three minutes into the second half. Clark picked up by Dan Friday as he crosses midcourt. Now Clark passes it left side to Alex Watson. Watson right hand dribble in the paint, bounces it down low. And Detrell goes up and in for two. That's a nice move. Scoring over Jalen Ganey. Ivy League leader in blocks. First bucket of the game for Cantavio Dutrell. Cuts the Brown lead to 10. Here's Cho, takes it in the paint with the left hand, kicks it weak side to Wojcik. They try to go down low to Cho, but Wojcik telegraphed the pass. It was stolen by Gallette, and Wojcik took it back, but they called him for a reach-in foul. Look at look on his face. <laughs> that'll be Paxson's first. That'll be the first on Brown here in the second half. Is it fa fair to say Paxson was puzzled by that? Ball? I would say so. Let's take a look at this look again at this. see if he has Paxson. something. Oh, I tell you what. Not much there. No, there wasn't. He stole the ball without committing a foul. I think uh, I think the men in striped shirts who have done a decent job here today missed one there. Could I characterize uh, Paxson's look as one of disbelief? Yes. Okay. He disbelieved the ref. There's Aaron Clark guarded by Ferrari, so he gives it up top to Watson. Watson dribbles in the paint, goes up, missed the shot. Rebound and put back by Detrell. Doesn't go, but he's fouled and will go to the free throw line for two. And this one's going to be called on Ferrari. That'll be the second on Kimo. Second team foul on the Bears here in the second half. Yeah, good position by Cantavio Dutrell. Cantavio has struggled at the line this season through eight games. He comes into this one at 47% from the stripe. The senior from Haiti gets the ball for his first of two, and it's on the way, and no good. You could tell when he released it, the body language, he's not comfortable like at that free throw line. He's a transfer from the University of North Alabama. And Detrell gets the ball for his second free throw attempt. 
This one's on the way, and that one's good. 50% foul shooter basically makes one of two. Bears Three points nine. for Dutrell. Nine point Brown lead. Ganey up top to Lilly. Dribbles off the Ganey ball screen. Now passes across court. Stolen away by the Pioneers. It's Thomas. Thomas brings it in Offense. on Ferrari from the field. Here's Lilly up top to Ferrari. Ferrari passes it left to Lilly. Lilly looks for Mitchell down low in the post. Mitchell spins to his left, goes up, miss it. Rebound, Mitchell goes back up in traffic, had it partially blocked. Gillette pulled it down, and I think they're going to get Mitchell for a reach and trying to get it back. That'll be David's third foul, third on the Bears here in the second half. I, I think David might have thought he got bodied on, on either or both of those shots under the basket. So the Pioneers here hanging around. You know, the Bears up their lead to as many as 14, but they've got it down to single digits here, nine. They're very dangerous. They have a lot of guys who can score the basketball. Here's Tyler Thomas with it. Passes it up top to Aaron Clark. Ferrari's going to guard him closely. Thomas faking the three, dribbles it by Wojcik in the paint, puts up the 10-footer. No, they're going to call him for a charge. All right, let's wow, see. that's a big foul. That's the third foul on Tyler Thomas. So now he's going to have to be a little more careful. Are you? Here is making his move. Yeah, he just oh, barely, barely pushed oh, with his a, right elbow. <laughs> Wojcik sold it. Yeah, that's a that's a brush call, a brush foul. Not much there. Lily, floater from ten, no good. Nana with a rebound and put back. Nana right there, just staying with it. Got position. Sacred Heart player got underneath the rim. Nana grabbed it, scooped it up, and laid it in. The freshman from Canada, Nana Owusu-Anani with eight. Bears up there, lead to 11. Here is Watson, guarded by Cho. Up top, Glett left alone. He'll take the three. No good. And the rebound, Wojcik. Who did it go off of? He hit it last off of Dutrell. So the Bears will get it back. Good hustle by both young men. Let's take a look at this again. There it is underneath the basket, Paxson. Yeah. I'm not sure. 54-43, Brown by 11 with the basketball. Just over 14 and a half to play in this one. Here's Wojcik, left of the key to Nana, right of the key. He'll hand the ball to Lilly on the right wing. Lilly. Back to Owusu Anani, now up top to Wojcik. Ten on the shot clock. Paxson gets it to Lilly with eight on the shot clock. And what happened here? We get a foul on the floor. They're going to say Dutrell was grabbing a hold of Nana Owusu Anani. And Dutrell looks at the official with somewhat of a surprised look on his face. Let's see if we can see it here. So there's Nana underneath. Yeah, a little, little, little pushing and shoving going both. on with both of them. Yeah, Maybe a no call there. Oh, good, oh, unselfish movement. pass by and Lilly, and he gets it to Ferrari, who makes the open three. Lilly could have easily taken that himself. Instead, he turned down an open shot for an even more open shot. Yeah, that's very unselfish play. Lilly, a tremendous shooter. Ferrari's an excellent shooter also. So give the assist to Lilly, give the three-point field goal to Ferrari, and a nice move to the hoop there, but unable to finish was Thomas and Cho with a rebound. Bounces it to Lilly on the left, thought about taking the three, fires a cross court to Wojcik. Paxson takes a baseline, bounces to Cho, oh, who lays finish. it in for two. Yeah, that's goaltending besides. They have a foul two or just a goaltend? That's just all. a goaltend. And the ball went in anyway. Bears back up to a 16. There's a pretty feed from Paxson. Tomanong Cho now with seven points, and the Bears have opened up their largest lead of the game, 59-43, to 43, a 16-point advantage. Noah Marin checking into the Brown lineup. He will guard Aaron Clark. Thomas back to Clark on the left. Clark dribbles in the paint, goes up with the right hand and scores. Yeah, he can score. He's what you call, Scott, ambidextrous, if you know what that means. That means both hands he yep, can use. Okay. I, knew. I, I didn't go to an Ivy League school like Brown, but I do want to know what ambidextrous means. Well, someone explained to me that to me before the game. I had no clue. 
Marin with the miss, back the other nice way move. for Sacred Heart. Gallette scores and gets fouled. He'll go to the line with a chance for a three-point play. Noah Marin picks up the personal, his first. Fifty-nine forty-seven, Brown by twelve. Thirteen oh one to play here in the second half, and Nico Gallette, who's only one for three from the free throw line on the season, will go to the line to shoot one. Nice strong move. He converts with the left hand and that makes the yep. fall shot. Back to an eleven-point lead. Thomas replaced in the Sacred Heart lineup. Or oh, here comes some pressure by Joey Riley. As you mentioned, Lowell pressured the Bears, gave them a little bit of an issue in the second half of that game. Ferrari gets it to Lilly. Open three for Lilly is good. How's that for breaking the press? Yeah, Kimo Ferrari gets that assist, and that would be num his assist number four for Kimo as Kino hits the three. Third three of the game for Lilly. He has nine. Bears up 14. Here's a three for Watson on the way, short. Rebound, though. Gallette picks it up. Kicks it out top to Clark. Right side pass. Goes to Riley. His three no good. Oh, he got Offensive shot. rebound. <laughs> Ferrari got hammered as Dutrell picked up the board, and he walked with it and turned it over. Well, Boy, Ferrari's going to feel that one. <laughs> he won't admit it. I'm sure he took an arm or an elbow to the face there. Oh, you saw well, the, that was early in the, the aftermath yeah. of it. And Tavio Dutrell. Yeah, good hustle by Dutrell. Bryce Johnson checks into the game. There you see Ferrari. He's already drawn one charge here today. He's he's becoming known for that here at Brown, isn't he? Yeah. He's I call him a disruptor. Yeah. He dis, he can disrupt an entire team's offense with his defensive abilities. Not just taking the charge, but he's a savvy player. He knows when to leave his man to try to steal the ball. Gets into passing lanes. It drives people nuts. Wusu Anani with a 15-foot jump shot. He says, thank you very much. Yeah, gave him enough space. And, All right, I'll make that. And he can make that. Bears T up 16 again. 10 points for the freshman from Burlington, Ontario. 16-point Bears lead matches their largest of the game. Clark gets the ball down low to Dutrell. He's going to try to muscle his way in on Wusu Anani. Puts up the shot. No good. Noah Marin rebounds it for Brown. Marin's a pretty good rebounder. He's a big guard. Yeah, in limited action, UMass Lowell had a couple rebounds. There's Nana. Lily gets it back down to Wusu Anani. He dribbles in the paint, kicks it back out to Lily. Lily dribbles to his right. Now kicks it to Nana for an open three, and Wusu Anani's three in and out, rebounded by Bryce Johnson. Johnson gets it to Aaron Clark. Clark, right side pass, Thomas, long three. In and out, rebound T. Cho. Bears in transition, back the other way. Cho finds Ferrari. Ferrari to Marin, takes it to the hoop. Has a shot blocked by Dutrell. Little <laughs> contact, no, no call. call. Look it's at a this. steal by Lily. Kino, watch this pass. Gets it to Marin, who lost the handle, and Sacred Heart comes back the other way with a Clark pull up three from the left. Good. 19 for Aaron Clark. And a 13-point lead for the Bears, 64-51, 10-40 to play. Both teams with 11 turnovers. Cho down the right side of the lane, goes to the left of the rim and scores a pretty one. He, he came to a jump stop and then took another little bit of a step. No, I think he held his pivot foot. Oh, there's Ferrari again. Oh. A Cornell defeated, uh, defeated Division III Cayuga College. They're located in central New York, 122-64. How about the Big Red, 8-1 and one to start the season? That might be their best start all time. Here's Lilly for the Bears. Gets it to Marin, takes it baseline, out to Friday, dribbles to the hoop, and he's going to get called for the charge. Well, that's when you got to stop, jump stop, take a jumper or pass the ball. Here he comes down the lane. Bryce Johnson, Nothing. yep, outside the arc. Did a nice job of getting his position. Yep. So Cornell with their best start at least since 1967-68. And at that time, the Brown co-captains were Bill Reynolds and Rick Landau. How about that? Talk about a pair. That'll be three of a kind any day. 
Thomas goes reverse, missed it. Ganey can't control the rebound, goes out of bounds off of Jalen last. It'll be Sacred Heart ball underneath. We're just past the midway point of the second half here at Brown. 66-51, the Bears with a 15-point lead on Sacred Heart. Pioneers will toss it in from underneath. Joey Riley throws it in. Now Thomas down low. Johnson lost the handle but saves it from going out of bounds. Sixsmith gets it to Gallette for three. No good. Rebound Dan Friday. Friday finds Lilly. Right side, David Mitchell. Now back up to Friday it goes as he dribbles right of the key. Passes it left to Lilly. Lilly step back three. No good. And the rebound tipped by Ganey to Mitchell, but he lost the handle. And Sacred Heart picks up the loose ball. Back the other way, Gallette will take it in on Lilly. Friday tried to go up and block the shot, but he couldn't. Gallette scores. And it is 66 53. Browns lead a dozen. Gallette just went one on two and beat two Brown defenders for that basket. Heck Boy, of a move. Friday got up there, too. He did. Here's Friday in the block. Goes to his left. Goes up strong. Tried to spin it in. Couldn't, but he'll go to the free throw line 4 2. Scott, let me point out the ref that made that call was over by the Brown bench, and there was one ref right underneath the basket, one over here, here near us. Neither one of them blew the whistle. What's well, clearly a foul, but. Little body, yeah. yeah. Six Smith picks up his first. Eighth team foul on the Pioneers. Two free throws coming up here for Dan Friday. But that's a complaint we make pretty often. As the ref far away from the action is, yeah. is making a call, the other two guys are right there. Friday is 78% free throw shooter, drains the first. He has eight points. And he gets the ball for his second. It's on the way, and that one's also good. So nine points for Dan Friday. 68-53, Brown leading by 15. Friday nearly coming up with a steal there, but Gallette has it for Sacred Heart. Nice bounce pass to Six Smith, who lost the handle out of bounds. They say it went off a of Wojcik last. So the Pioneers will toss it in from underneath. It looked like Paxson kicked it out. Somebody's got to throw it in for Sacred Heart. Now Thomas is going to come to get it. Thomas, loop pass in. Ganey tried to steal it, couldn't. Johnson gets it. Now they get it right side to Riley. Riley being harassed by Ferrari, gives it up to Johnson. Johnson dribbles in the paint, realizes who's defending him, so he gives the ball up. Wise move. Three on the shot clock for the Pioneers. Thomas takes a long contested three and hits it. He's got unlimited range. I don't think they go to him enough, to tell you the truth. I know Clark ha is having a heck of a game as a great scorer also. 18 points for Tyler Thomas. So the two leading scorers for Sacred Art doing a great job, but there hasn't been much support outside of that no. from a scoring standpoint. They're going under eight minutes to play in this one. Brown by 12 with the basketball. Friday gets it to Mitchell on the left, back up to Friday. Friday uses the Ganey ball screen, now fires it right to Paxson Wojcik. Down low to Jalen in the mid post. One bounce, turns to his left. Sent last year, missed it. Missed the front end, rebounded by the Pioneers. Gallette brings it back the other way quickly. Now Six Smith will dribble it up top, get it to Johnson, who swings it left to Aaron Clark. Clark dribbles off the screen, gets it to Gallette. Gallette takes it in, missed the shot, rebounded by Ganey. Ganey's presence will make you miss shots because you expect him to come in for a block, so you change your shot. Here's Wojcik, open three, right side, good. And they show that as Ganey's first rebound of the day, by the way, as Paxson wow. hits the shot. 15 points for Paxson Wojcik. That's a new career high for the junior transfer from Loyola, Chicago. Six for eight from the field, three for five from three. And the Bears lead by that margin, 15 points, 71 to 56. Johnson <laughs> puts it up off the shot clock. It goes out of bounds to Brown. Again, when you have Jalen Ganey on, you know I, he he makes you change your shot. I wouldn't even try to take a shot. No, he <laughs> he's a legitimate shot blocker. He is. Led the Ivy League two years ago, two se well, two years ago, one season ago, and, and blocked shots. He's doing it again this year. I tell you what, one of the nicest young men you'll meet too. Always has a smile on his face, Jalen Ganey. He's got the smile when he's out there, and he's got the biggest competitive chip on his shoulder. Positive. 
Here's Cho with it, dribbling it left side, foul line extended. Now takes it into the paint, gets it to Wojcik up top. Paxson thought about the three, now takes the three straight away. That one's in and out, and the rebound to Gallette. Gallette will dribble it up the floor. Passes it left side to Thomas for three. No good off the back of the rim, but the long rebound comes out to Gallette. Fire it right side to Johnson. I tell you, Gallette's really hustling a lot here in the second half. He's, he's all over the court. He's got seven rebounds. Johnson. Four assists. No good with the three. The rebound comes down to Dan Friday. We approach six minutes to play in this one. Brown with a 15-point lead in the basketball. Wojcik up top to Ferrari. He'll dribble it right and get it to T. Cho. Cross-court pass to Paxson. Wojcik gets it back from Friday. And kicks it weak side to Ferrari. Five on the shot clock. Hemo losing the handle near midcourt with three. With two, puts up the running jump shot and hits it at the buzzer. I think he doesn't have a clock ticking in his head, Scott, at all times. What a heady player. I used the term savvy before. I think that applies to him. And that basket matches Ferrari's career high. He has eight today. Well, he's got an, he, oh, well, he's going to get called for a block there. Not for a second. He might have his third charge drawn of the day. Yeah, let's see it. Got the feet moving. Like that. He didn't get there. I've never met or seen anybody play like he can get beaten and quickly recover yeah. and get in front of the ball handler faster than anybody I've seen. <laughs> Scott, how about down in St. Thomas? We saw him in the pool, and I said to him, Kimo, if I get in front of him, will you run me? What, what happens? He says, yeah, I'll draw, <laughs> you'll draw the offensive ball in the pool. <laughs> Another steal. There's a steal. Owusu Anani forced it, yeah. and Ferrari picked up the loose ball. Ferrari gets it to Lilly, and dribbles it up top. Now they get it to T. Cho, left of the key. Cho will back it out near midcourt. Five minutes to go in this one. Here's Cho, dribbles down the right side of the lane, scores off the window. Yeah, he's getting his offensive timing back for sure. All those skills coming back after the layoff and missed games, missed scrimmages, missed practices. Coming back for T. Cho. 11 points for the co-captain, Tamanong Cho, and the Bears have opened up a 19-point lead on the Pioneers. Offense. And Thomas picks up the charge as Wojcik draws it. Yeah, well, he, he led with his right arm. That might have been different if he didn't put the arm up, but he extended it. And that's all you got to see is when I, yeah, just like that, it, it just, uh, they're going to call that almost every time. You know, we talk a lot, and rightfully so, about the defense of Ferrari and Mitchell. Wojcik's drawn a lot of charges yeah. here early in his Brown career as well, hasn't he? Yeah, there's uh, there's defense in everybody's blood on this team. Yeah. Well, it's ingrained in them by their head coach, Mike Martin, and this coaching staff. Yep. They preach it, and it shows. 75-56, Bears by 19. Wojcik thought about taking the three. Instead, gives it to Cowan. Right side, Lilly open three. Short, and the rebound comes down to Aaron Clark. Bears bench has outscored Sacred Heart as Clark takes it to the hoop, scores, and gets fouled by Owusu Anani. Pretty move there by Aaron Clark, who now has 21. Nana picks up his first foul. But the Bears bench has outscored Sacred Hearts in this game 27-6. to Yeah. A lot, of, a lot of positive stuff coming off the Brown bench. Today. Clark with a right hand that time. He's a very skilled offensive player. Clark's free throw is good. So give him 22. His career high is 24. Scored that against Army. 75-59. Browns lead 16. We go into four minutes to play. Lilly dribbles to the left side of the floor. Up top to Owusu Anane. Nana gets it back to Kino on the left. Looking for Cho. With 10 on the shot clock, he's going to dribble it between the circles. Now to the right of the key, fires it left of the key to Usanani. One dribble, oh. and he jams it home. That time taking the ball off the dribble, right to the rim, and slams it. A dozen for Owusu Anani. And an 18-point Bears lead, 77-59. Down low, Detrell missed the shot, and the rebound comes down to T. Cho. It's a sixth rebound. Cho. 
Tried to loop pass it to Owusu Anani, but stolen away by Sixsmith. Sixsmith three on two. Nice bounce pass and laying it in is Aaron Clark. Sarcastically, they, yes. they're having possibly their finest offensive output and outing of the year. Yeah, their two best games, certainly. Yeah. This one and the North Carolina game, yeah. they were very, very strong yeah. offensively. Yeah. We're under three minutes to go. Brown with the basketball, and again, that 16-point lead. And Willie has it poked out of bounds. It'll be... Brown ball underneath, but we're going to have another timeout right here. This is the media timeout under four minutes. 2.51 to go, 77-61 Brown. We're back with more in Providence right after this. Back here in Providence, 2.51 to play. Nana Owusu Anani and the Brown Bears with a 77 61 lead on Sacred Heart. Owusu Anani with 12 points in this one for Brown. It gets a down low to Cho. Cho gives it up to Lily up top. Seven on the shot clock as Lily dribbles it right, takes it baseline through, out to Wojcik. He'll take the three, and it's off the front of the rim. No good, but Owusu Anani with the offensive board. Yeah, he stayed with the good hustle. Perry Cowan spots up for three on the left. No good. And the rebound loose on the floor, picked up by Sacred Heart. Sixsmith back the other way to Watson, to Sixsmith, and he passes it to the corner, and nobody's home. 14th turnover of the game for the Pioneers, and the Bears will get it back. Surprise, maybe we didn't see a little more zone or maybe some pressure being applied by the Pioneers, and I say that because two years ago they had a zone that, that bothered the Bears. Yep. I can tell you this, though, this Brown basketball team will be facing a zone in just a couple of days. They head up to Merrimack College for a Tuesday night game up there, yeah, that's, and that is what the Warriors do. They play a lot of zone defense. That's all they do. And they played yesterday. They played UMass Lowell. Brown just beat UMass Lowell beat Merrimack yesterday afternoon. Speaking of 2-3 zones, did you see that Syracuse win at Florida State yesterday? Foolproof 2-3 zone by the Orange. <laughs> Always. Every game, game in and game out for centuries. Sometimes to their detriment. Look at this deep shot. Oh. Well, he misses the mark on the three attempt there. Back the other way, Gallette takes it coast to coast and scores. Yeah, nice All layup. seven for Nico Gallette here in the second half. Yeah, nice layup uh, under control. He's got four assists. Eight rebounds, seven points. So the Bears are going to improve to seven and four at the conclusion of this one. Sacred Heart will drop to three and six. Here's Lily with the basketball. Up top to Tamanong Cho. Right side, it goes to Wojcik. Wojcik dribbles off the Owusu Anani screen, puts it up on the left side and scores, and he adds to his career. How about <laughs> basketball, and in particular, Connecticut basketball? than Russ Tyler. Yeah, I'd say about 45 million people do. I would say the only person that knows more about Connecticut basketball than you is the late D-Row. Oh, my God. And Stan Agrodnik is another guy that knows you know, Connecticut basketball and every, everything about basketball. Colette takes it to the hoop, scores, and gets fouled, and he'll go to the free throw line with a chance at a three-point play. Colette, nice, strong move down the right side of the lane and lays it in after, hitting, after getting hit. Colette one for one from the free throw line today. He had a three-point play earlier in this game. And that one on the way is good. So coming into this one, the Bears were the number one defensive team in the Ivy League, allowing 64 points per game. And Sacred Heart has surpassed that right now at 66. That is true. 79-66, Bears by 13 with 44 seconds left. Willie's just going to bounce the ball near midcourt. Watson guards him, pokes it loose. Picks up the loose ball. No, he can't. Now he finally does. And he gets it to Gallette. Gallette gets it left side to Watson. Watson had it poked loose, lost it out of bounds. It'll be brown ball. Now the Bears can just dribble out the remaining 26 seconds of this game. As Mitchell gets it into Lilly. Lilly's just going to bounce it high up the floor. He'll bring it across the midcourt stripe, and the Bears... We'll just bounce the remaining 15 seconds of time off the clock. Solid win for Brown today at home as they take care of business against the Pioneers. 
final score, 79-66, Bears as the buzzer 